welcome back to Dad's Bedtime Stories. Once again, just a big thank you to everyone who's out there sharing episodes on social media or wherever else. Keep it up. This is episode 32, Unicorn Magic. So just lay back in your bed, close your eyes, and imagine yourself doing what the kid in the story does. You wake up in the morning, once again you stretch and get out of bed, a spaceship flies over your head and says, we are receiving a message from the unicorn planet. What? The unicorn planet? We haven't been there in a long time. What's the message? The message is for you to come see the unicorns. Oh, well, I guess we should go see the unicorns then. Let's go. You run outside to the shed. You open up the shed door. You press the buttons on the control panel. And suddenly the portal inside the shed lights up a bright blue color that looks almost like water. You and spaceship and changer in the form of a dog, step through the portal. It sucks you into a huge tunnel and you feel yourself going left and right and up and down, always staying perfectly in the middle of the tunnel. Before long, you pop out the other side and you're on the unicorn planet. When you look around, you see pinks and purples and blue and a hint of white in the clouds. Everything is very unicorny around here. Before long, two unicorns land right in front of you. Obviously, Rainbow Dash and Starfire. Hi guys, how are you? We are good you hear in your head. We wanted to see you again. Well, that's cool. It's good to see you guys. Uh, What did you think we could do together? We owe you for saving us, says Rainbow Dash inside your head. We would like to use our unicorn magic to grant you a wish. A wish? You ask inside your head. I can't think of any wishes. You guys don't owe me anything. I was happy to help you save your friends. If you will not allow us to grant you a wish, we will grant it for others instead says Rainbow Dash. What do you mean, others? Climb on my back, says Rainbow Dash inside your head. Rainbow Dash walks over to you, and you climb on the back of the unicorn. Suddenly, the portal fires back up with a bright blue color, and Rainbow Dash runs and jumps through the portal. Once again, and this time, on the back of the unicorn, you fly through the tunnel with bright blue light on either side of you, floating directly in the middle, getting sucked towards the other side. Before long, you end up on the other side of the portal, inside your shed. Rainbow Dash, with you on her back, walks out of the shed and into the yard. Suddenly, she starts flapping her wings and flies high up into the air with you on her back. You raise up high above the trees and the houses and the roads. You fly slowly around the town or city until Rainbow Dash gets a feeling and suddenly turns and heads towards one particular house. When you arrive near the house, 
Rainbow Dash flies right down beside a window and just sort of hovers there. Inside the window, you can see a little kid. The little kid looks really sad because it doesn't have any toys, has nothing to play with except a balled up piece of paper that the kid keeps throwing against the wall and catching. This child needs a new toy, says Rainbow Dash in your head. Suddenly, the horn of the unicorn starts to light up a bright color, and it shoots a light inside the window right in front of the kid. Slowly, a whole pile of toys start to appear right in front of the child. The child is amazed and immediately starts playing with the toys very happily. You and Rainbow Dash fly back up into the air high above the earth and you just look down at all of the things below you until Rainbow Dash gets another feeling and heads down towards another house. Once again, Rainbow Dash hovers just outside the window. Inside this time, you see a kid who's trying to jump off their bed. This kid just wants to learn to fly, you think. Rainbow Dash shoots a bright light out of her horn and it hits the kid. Suddenly, the kid starts to fly. They do flips and they zoom back and forth in the room as they try to figure out their new power. And then you see them go over to the window, open it up and fly away. Whoa, I don't know if it was necessary to make that kid fly and I kind of worry about where he's going, you say, but that was really cool. Unicorns enjoy granting wishes, says Rainbow Dash. Hey, what are you doing? You hear a voice say in the background. You turn around and you see a wizard or at least something that looks a lot like a wizard, with long purple robes, carrying a big wand in its hand. It points the wand at you and Rainbow Dash and says some jumble of words you don't understand, and a bright purple light shoots right at you. Rainbow Dash jumps out of the way and shoots a beam out of her horn right at the wizard but the wizard blocks it with his wand. You must stop, says the wizard, and shoots another beam of light out of its wand, but again you and Rainbow Dash fly out of the way. You fly high up into the air trying to get away from the wizard, but when you look back over your shoulder, you see a bright purple light flying straight at you you realize that it's the wizard using some sort of spell. The wizard's surrounded in light and is just flying very quickly. Rainbow Dash lights up and starts to move even faster to get away from the wizard. Beams of light start to fly past you. Spells, you think. You dodge left to miss one of them. You dodge right to miss the other. And then Rainbow Dash spreads its wings, flies straight up in the air, and allows the wizard to pass underneath. Rainbow Dash swoops back down suddenly behind the wizard and shoots a beam of light at the wizard. The beam of light hits the wizard and starts surrounding it on all sides until the wizard is completely surrounded by a purple light that looks like a huge bubble. 
Hey, let me out of here, says the wizard. The wizard tries a spell, but it just hits off the purple bubble and bounces all around. I cannot let you out, says the unicorn. You were trying to hurt me. While you were doing magic, says the wizard. You're not allowed to do magic without the express permission of the wizard's council. You should know that. I do not know what the wizard's council is, says the unicorn. What? How do you not know what the wizard's council is? Says the wizard. Every magic creature and magic person on this planet knows what the wizard's council is. As soon as someone shows any kind of magical talent, we show up and, well, we basically make them pass a series of tests to make sure they won't reveal themselves to the world. And here you two are just going around granting wishes. Do you know how hard it is to hide a boy who can fly? His parents saw him fly out of a window and up into the sky, and now everyone's going to think they're crazy, and we're going to have to take that flying away from the boy, and he's going to be mad at us. So thanks a lot, unicorn. I am sorry, says the unicorn. I was just trying to help. Well, don't help. But again, how do you have magic powers and we've never met before? We are from a different planet, explains the unicorn. On our planet, there is no wizard's council and all creatures have magic, explains Rainbow Dash. Well... We're not on your planet. If you're here on Earth, you need to follow the wizard's rules. Suddenly, on all sides of you, there are flashes of light. Each one turns into a wizard pointing their wand at you. Put the wizard down, you hear one of them say. Rainbow Dash removes the spell and the wizard is free to fly. I'm sorry, you say. We didn't know we weren't supposed to use magic here. We didn't know anything about the wizard's council, so if you just let us go, we promise we won't do magic here anymore. Hmm, says the wizard. Well, I don't know if you can promise that. What's that thing in your pocket? This, you say, pulling out the spaceship? Yeah, that. That's a magic item. A magic spaceship of some kind? Who made you that? I don't know. I just found it one morning in my living room, and we've been going on adventures ever since. Hmm. Well, if you can control something like that, you may actually have some magic talent yourself. There's only one way to find out. I'm going to need you to come with me. Come with you? Where? We need to take you to the testing grounds to see if you have any magical powers. But I need to help Rainbow Dash get back to its planet. Hmm. Okay, says the wizard. I'll give you until tomorrow. But tomorrow... You have to report to these coordinates. The wizard hands you a map. You take it and look at it. It has a huge map of the area around your house. And there's a little doorway marked on it that says, Passageway to the Magic Kingdom. Interesting, you say. You fold it up and put it in your pocket. I promise I'll show up tomorrow, you say. But I need to take my unicorn friend home. (sighs) Okay, but if you're not here tomorrow, we're going to come looking. Okay. You and Rainbow Dash fly up into the air. 
away from all the wizards. What do you think, says Rainbow Dash? Well, I mean, if I have magic powers, it'll be pretty cool to find out about them. So I'm actually kind of excited. Good. You do have magic, says Rainbow Dash. I do, you ask? Yes, I have felt it in you from the beginning. Wow, that's really cool. I wonder if they'll help me control it. They probably will, says Rainbow Dash. But now we should get home. Rainbow Dash starts to fly down towards the ground and you can see your house in the distance. You land in the front yard, and the door to the shed opens, and once again the portal turns on. With you on its back, Rainbow Dash jumps through the portal, and one more time you go through the blue tunnel, floating perfectly in the middle as you go left and right and up and down until you pop out at the other side. You get off of Rainbow Dash and say, Well, that was fun, Rainbow Dash. I hope I'll see you again soon. We hope to see you too, says Rainbow Dash. <sighs> you yawn. I'm really tired, you say. Let us help says Rainbow Dash. A bright light shoots out of Rainbow Dash's horn, and it creates a big puffy cloud. Lay down on the bed, says Rainbow Dash. You walk over to the big fluffy cloud, and you climb on top of it. You lay your head down, and the cloud surrounds you perfectly, making you very, very comfortable. Your eyes are feeling heavy, and you allow them to close. With each breath, you let yourself sink further and further into the cloud. It gets dark on the unicorn world, you allow yourself to fall asleep.